or English 239 tutorial video. In the video here today, what I'm going to do is go over some of the basics of the website Weebly, where I am at right now. Today we're going to talk about some basic skills that you need to create and delete pages listed on your Weebly page, how to add a submenu to your Weebly pages, as well as adding text, videos, and images to your pages. So feel free to skip ahead to whatever portion is pertinent to your needs right now, or just feel free to watch the whole video and get some information on how to use Weebly. So one of the first things we're going to talk about is how to create and edit the menu pages listed here at the top of your Weebly page. So by default, whatever design you choose will have some menu pages listed there. Uh, and you might not want to use those. You might want to change them up a bit. So today we're going to talk a little bit how to do that. So when you first log into Weebly, it's going to be on the build page with this basic information here, which we'll get to that later. For this video, we're interested in the pages themselves. So when you click on the Pages button, it's going to bring up all the pages listed on your Weebly site. And let's say we're not doing a shop page and we just want to kind of get rid of that. What you would do is click on said shop page and there's a delete button right here. So you can just click delete and then click delete again. And that page will be gone from your Weebly site. Now I would recommend going through and doing that. Um, for all of your pages, just because if you click on the about section, there's going to be a lot of default text images listed there and you probably don't want to use any of that and it's easier than just going through and deleting everything. You can do this without deleting the page itself. If you click on these red X buttons, it'll show you how to delete those there. So you can do that, but simply just hitting delete I think is the better option. Now let's say you want to add a new page specific for your design purposes and to do that there's the plus button right up here you click on that and what I'm going to do is build a standard page. You can also build other types of pages. You can build a blog page if you want to post a blog or if you want to update that. Um, there's also categories, products and external pages, non-clickable menus as well. And I think I'm going to do a non-clickable menu here since I want to show you about the menuing section. So we'll click that right away and I'm going to name this page Illinois State. And once we click on that we are done. So we have our non-clickable menu right here, but there's no pages linked to that. So the next thing I want to talk about is adding text, videos, and images. So what I'm going to do is create some more pages. Again, I'm going to click a standard page here, and we'll name this Images of Illinois State University, if I could spell that right. So we have that page for images of Illinois State. Let's make another one, another standard page for videos. So we have those done and let's say we want to make those part of the sub menu Illinois State. What you would do is you click on the page on the side menu here and what you can do is you can click and drag it and if you move it slightly to the right it will then appear under the subsection Illinois State. Now you can move them up to any other section. Let's say I want videos of Illinois State under contact. I can just click and drag it under there. And you can see over here on the side menu where my mouse is, um, the tab for the page is kind of indented slightly. That lets you know that it's appearing on that sub page. So if I click under my non-clickable my non-clickable menu, it will come up with the pages. Images of Illinois State. There's nothing here right now. Same thing with videos of Illinois State. So that's a quick little tutorial on how to add and manage your menus on Weebly. So welcome back. In this last little installment, what we're going to do is talk about doing some basic um, content edits in terms of editing, adding texts, videos, and images to your Weebly pages. So in the previous section, we talked about adding pages. So we have our pages for images of Illinois State and videos of Illinois State. And you can just click through whichever one of those you want to be working on for that specific purpose. And what we're going to be doing is looking at this build tab right up here. So we can click on that. Uh, and what we're going to want to do is add, you know, a, maybe a text box. So there's all these basic tools up here, a title. So I can click this down here. And I can have my sub menu images of Illinois State. And there we go. We have the title, and you can highlight it. You can make some edits, like let's say you want it centered. 
Uh, you, if you want to make it bigger, you can do that. Um, there's also a, a edit button here if you want to change the color to have something stand out a little bit more. So that's how you add titles. It's a good way to break up your page to let your readers know what specific section they're looking at. If you want to get a little more advanced under the structure section here, you can also include a divider. And that'll put the nice little border there so you can easily demarcate your comp content. So another thing we want might consider doing is adding a text box. So if you want to type in something, click and drag it under there. And under the content, you can just write whatever you want. Here are some images of Illinois State University. So, and you can make that text box as long as you need to. You can copy and paste the text directly in there. That works as well. So uh, our page here is images of Illinois State University. So maybe we would want to add some images since that's what the page says it's doing. If you scroll down, you can see all these sub icons and what we want specifically are images. So up here under the basic text edits, we have images. And when you click that, drag it over here and you can set where you want that. If you want it directly under the title, you can do that. If you want it over the text, you can do that as well. Just pay attention to where this blue bar is that lets you know where the, where you're going to place your image. So I want to place this, let's place it below the text. And you can move that around. So let's say you want to change it, you want to maybe have it uh, above the image, this little bar here lets you do that. So to add an image, I have a Google image search open here. And what I'm going to do is just right click that and copy the image address. Go back to my Weebly page and under upload image, you're just going to click on that and click on image URL, paste it in there, click insert. And there we go. It was a bit bigger than I thought, so that's why it took a little minute, a little bit to actually upload. So pay attention to the size of the images you are using. Um, this might be a bit big for our purposes, but uh, it's up to you how big the images you want to use. That's up to you in terms of deciding the design. Also, if you click on images, you don't have to use images directly from the web. Let's say you took some pictures of Illinois State. Um, you can upload files directly from your computer here as well. So those are some of the basics to adding images to your Weebly website. So welcome again. The last concept we're going to be covering on this video is how to add videos embedded from YouTube to your Weebly website. So in the last section, I talked about embedding images. You can see I did that to this web, uh, to this specific page, the images of Illinois State. And now if I want to add a video, the process is relatively similar. So I'm going to click on the sub page I created for videos of Illinois State to pull that up. It's set the same as the images page. And let's say really quick, we want to just differentiate that a little bit. There's this fancy header here. If you click on videos of Illinois State, you can disable that, click header, and then click no header. So that'll just give us a nice blank slate to work with. So what we want to do is add a video to that. So to do that, what we're going to do is click on the build button here as well. And just like we did with the text and the title, we'll start with that. So we'll put a title at the top of the page and just click in there, videos of Illinois State. And again, you can do whatever you want with this. You can center it, you can align it to the right, you can align it to the left. Let's keep it nice and centered. Increase the size a little bit by clicking the plus icon. And you know, I'm feeling bold, so why don't we click the bold button, which doesn't really change anything since the text is quite large. But if we click underline, we can get that going as well. So. In terms of adding a video, um, if you scroll down again on the page builder, there is all this useful material here. Uh, what we want is a YouTube video. So like everything, you click on that and you drag it where you want it to appear on your page. So it's going to appear right under the videos of Illinois State. So what I have pulled up is a YouTube video for Illinois State's fight song. So what you want to do is copy the web link up here in the search bar. And to embed this into your page, click on the play button for your video, and it's going to ask you for the URL. You can just paste it in there, 
and click out and there you go. So once you publish this site, people will be able to see this video. Uh, so yeah, really simple, just as it is embedding an image into your Weebly page.